I'm going to show you how to draw a cube in um, reverse value, and I, I also want to do a cylinder cup. I'm going to use a separate piece of paper for the cylinder cup, and just so I don't run out of room down here. So if you're like I am, running out of space, just I'll show you how to attach the cup later on. Anyway, to draw the cube, we're just basically going to mimic the same thing we see over here. So to start off with, I'm going to start by just drawing an extremely light line for the front of the cube, and it's just a square. And then the idea behind this, um, um, we can talk about linear perspective later on, but I'm just drawing two parallel lines. So in other words, this line and this line are the same angle, and then there's going to be a third line that's also the same angle. See, one, two, three, they're all the same angle. In other words, this isn't going in this direction, and this isn't going in this direction. They're all the same angle. And then you just drop a vertical line that's a straight up and down line. So it's not like this, it's not like this, straight up and down, down, and then another horizontal line going across. And it's reverse value, so the idea behind this is because I know my light source is hitting me on the top of this cube the most, this is going to be drawn, right, with, so I start with my explicit outline and then go ahead and lose that outline and turn it into an edge just by doing this. And then I know that this is lighter, so I'm going to come in with this, right? And add that right there. And by the way, I had to sharpen my pencil before I got started. That's something I just want to mention to you guys as you're working on this. Um, don't forget to sharpen your pencil. And then finally, to do this bottom part down here, um, maybe it's just going to have a very, very light kind of, super light, there we go, like that, right? And then this is going to come out, there's my shadow, something like that, and it looks like I didn't finish my shadow on here, wow. I just noticed that right now, so there we are. Just being kind of sloppy about it, but something like that, right? Where it's just gonna gradiate out. So again, with the shadow, I might have just something super light right there, and then as I go in, it actually disappears. And then this part around here, of course, I can have my background, and bizarrely enough, the background is considerably lighter. I just have to be careful as I come up here with this background because if it's the same value as this, it's going to blend in. So I'm actually going to lighten it up when I get around the top of the cube. But as you can see, and I can get it lighter again right here. See, it's a little trick I learned that the value does not have to be consistent. Move that down and then bring this over, right? And you get the idea. Just go ahead and shade this in. And I've got myself a reverse value cube drawn, right, with a light cloud pencil. Hooray!